Hi, I'm Will Greenwald here at the PC Mag Labs, and I'm unboxing the Oculus Rift DK2 Development Kit 2. It comes with this modest cardboard box, and we're going to see what's inside. First, the DK2 itself, the head-mounted virtual reality display with cable. This is actually pretty uh, interesting in that it's different from the original development kit too because instead of a control box at the end, there's just USB and HDMI ports. And you plug the power right into this little box. A bunch of adapters, a nice uh, DVI to HDMI adapter if you don't have an HDMI out on your computer. several international power adapters that work with the included power brick that is right down uh, right here. Work with the power brick. A USB cable for connecting the included camera. The camera itself, which is another big difference from the original Oculus Rift. The first Oculus Rift development kit only had internal accelerometers and other motion sensors. This uses a camera to visually track the development kit too as well, plus the accelerometers and all the stuff built into the device. And uh, two lenses you can swap out depending on if you need glasses. And a uh, handy little microfiber cloth you can use to clean everything. This is Pretty much everything that comes in the Oculus Rift DK2 development kit. And if you'd like to uh, compare it with the original Oculus Rift, I happen to have it right here. Big control box with uh, DVI, HDMI, power, and USB, and buttons to control it. A much more blocky, square, slightly thinner and lighter headset because most of the electronics are in the box. And compare it to the DK2. This looks smaller. This is actually heavier and has slightly more volume, but it's a much sleeker design compared to this one. We'll be giving the Oculus Rift DK2 a full regimen of testing, and uh, keep an eye on PCMag.com for a full write-up of the Oculus Rift Development Kit 2.